what they didn't like in Keyleth was really aspects that they didn't like in themselves. Greetings, salutations, Ave Caesar. Look, I'm just trying to say hi, don't fight me on this. I realized something while I was watching The Legend of Vox Machina last week. Something that led me to talk about it for the third week in a row, even though I have other videos I am supposed to be working on right now. You see, I am not the only person who has reacted by hardcore vibing with the character of Keyleth and the way she comes off in the show. Which is really surprising considering she was very unpopular during Campaign 1. Let's talk about it. I know that a significant portion of my viewers on my previous Vox Machina videos are TV-only consumers of Critical Role, so I'm gonna have to catch you guys up on some ancient drama. People despised Keyleth at the time. Not everyone, of course, but a significant number of very vocal fans. They said she was preachy, that she was always looking down on people despite being the source of most problems in the party. Or even that she was just performed worse than the other characters. There were also people, of course, who pushed back against this opinion. And one person more than anyone else. Marisha Ray, Keyleth's creator and number one defender was the subject of a deluge of harassment. At the time, a lot of people couldn't really separate Keyleth from Marisha. She was, for most people, all they knew about Marisha. And if people didn't like Keyleth, it generally followed that they didn't have the highest opinion of Marisha either. And if there's one thing you can know for certain, it's that the internet is disproportionately unkind to women they don't like. The waves of vitriol that Marisha Ray faced was both appalling and unacceptable, and yet sadly, unsurprising. Hey, uh, Editing William here, and I just realized that I kind of didn't go into one of the subjects enough, so I'm just going to make something clear right now. This video isn't really about the harassment of Marisha Ray, so I didn't really provide all that many receipts. Uh, just let it be known that it was both widely known about and uh, widely denounced at the time. It was even one of the reasons that they stopped using like Twitch chat and stuff uh, in the YouTube videos because Twitch chat was really, really mean. But a very curious thing happened at the beginning of Campaign 2. Marisha began playing a new character, and a surprising number of people realized that actually they did like Marisha. Marisha was actually really cool. It was just Keyleth they weren't vibing with. But if you're vibing with me, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I think we're getting along great. So what exactly was it that bothered people about Keyleth? She's the worst. She tries so hard and is the worst. Keyleth was in many ways a challenging character. A character who failed constantly and it repeatedly compounded into her insecurities. Those insecurities often leading her to further difficult circumstances where she would overthink while everyone else just made it look effortless. It's a relatable character, but it's not always an easy one. And unfortunately, Keyleth was not set up well for success by the format. Campaign 1 existed long before Felicia Day managed to convince the group to let her catch it on camera. It was their home game, and a huge amount of everyone's backstory was mostly hidden away completely, or locked up in supplementary media like the Origins comics. The plot started with Keyleth at her worst, and the audience didn't have any context about how she got there. To a lot of people it just felt like it was a party of heroes. And why is one of them holding the story back with her insecurities constantly? But the truth of the matter is that Keyleth had messed up. She had failed at things that the audience was not really privy to. So, if she was a little desperate for the party to do the correct and moral thing, the viewers would just see needless preaching. Whereas the cast of Critical Role could see that Keyleth was a person who had made mistakes and was just trying to do better. A television show has the power to plan and pace things perfectly in ways that a live game does not. 
Plus, there's hindsight to work with. The legend of Vox Machina could make an effort to solve the Keyleth problem. Critical Role Campaign 1 didn't even know there was going to be a Keyleth problem. The show starts in a similar place, in that we miss out on Keyleth's backstory, but it makes an effort to reinforce her core concept early. She's nervous, she tries to do the right thing, and then she accidentally makes things worse when she finally acts. It makes for powerful moments when she finally does succeed, and I suspect we'll see a lot more of her arc in season two. But I like that it balanced the cause and the consequence. We saw why she was nervous, and we saw her anxieties as a result. The show actually didn't go very hard into her desperation to do the right thing, because that hasn't really been set up yet. Keyleth hits just right in the show, and she's a delight to see on screen. Keyleth, I'm sort of friends with Percy and um... We're seeing Keyleth's story now without all of the problems of the format. And it turns out that we were wrong about Keyleth. And Marisha was right. I say we because my hands aren't exactly clean here, okay? I was one of those people who didn't really like Keyleth and thought that that meant that I didn't like Marisha as well. I never sent any form of harassment, I don't think I even commented or tweeted anything in regards to it, but still, I definitely had that malice internalized in me. That, of course, changed when Campaign 2 started and I realized that Marisha is actually cool as hell. My opinion on Keyleth, however, didn't change. A few months ago, Marisha Ray did an interview with Philip DeFranco, and she said something that stuck with me. And it was something that was very challenging for me to hear. A large portion of our community that took their feelings towards Keyleth and what bothered them about her and actually did what people should do with art and used it for self-reflection and introspection mm. and kind of started asking themselves, why is it that this character bothers them so much? And I saw, especially towards the end of campaign and also in retrospectives, people saying that Keyleth's insecurities made them come to terms with a lot of their own insecurities in themselves because what they didn't like in Keyleth was really aspects that they didn't like in themselves. I hated that when I heard it. I thought she was just doubling down on the one bad character she had made. But as the time passed, it stuck with me, and I began to realize that she was right. I too am actually an anxiety-ridden wretch who has failed at virtually everything I've ever attempted. And sometimes, I try a little too hard to do the right thing to make up for all those times when I've done the wrong thing, and I just end up making it worse. Marisha was right about why I and others were so uncomfortable around the character of Keyleth. So I guess the point of this video is really quite a simple one. Marisha, I'm sorry. What? Now? I mean, this is like the worst time! In 1990, the American Secret Service raided a small RPG company under the insistence that their rulebook was actually a handbook for computer crime. If you're interested in hearing the full story of how and why this happened, or are interested in other stories throughout RPG history, then click on this video to find out more.